You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, we got comments from Caitlin Clark on missing the Olympics. She has come out. She's made some comments about how she feels about missing and not being on the USA basketball team. We all know she was snubbed. There's plenty of statistical data that shows that from even a statistic standpoint, never mind the fact that they just gave up on what she did in college and in Iowa. I mean, Don Staley basically admitted that. They were looking at the first 15 games of her WNBA career only. But Kaylin Clark has made comments about her snub, and frankly, I don't think she feels too bad about it. Like, it's almost like, whoo, I got a break. I think we, we can understand that, even though we know how egregious the snub was, and we absolutely know there's statistical data that shows she's having a better season than, say, Diana Taurasi, a dinosaur. Well, guess what? USA Basketball's ratings are in for the women's game, Team USA game, against Japan. And they are disastrous. So we're going to look at that first before we jump into Caitlin Clark's comments on not being on the team. But this is the rating. And it is bad. It is worse than the WNBA All-Star Game. All right. Per at NBC Sports PR, the U.S. women's basketball team opening game against Japan averaged 3.0 million viewers on USA Network and Peacock. Ouch. 3 million viewers. Now, you want some context to this? 12 years ago, they drew over 11 million viewers for women's USA basketball on NBC. Yikes. That that is an 8 million viewer difference. You want another 8 million viewer difference? The men's put up some real ratings. They drew a 10.9 million viewership across all NBC platforms. That was a blowout win against Serbia. I mean, wow. Seriously? The Women's College Basketball Championship, 18.9 million viewers. This is Team USA for the women, and it's very evident. Caitlin Clark fans said, you're not going to put her on the team. We told you we weren't watching, and they didn't. They didn't watch. That is an embarrassing rating. 3.0? I mean, the WNBA All-Star Game drew 3.442 million. 12 years ago, 8 million more viewers. With Caitlin Clark, who's breaking WNBA viewership records right now. Wow. If I'm NBC, I'm livid. Because what is it that Caitlin Clark has shown, folks? She has shown she can go toe-to-toe with NBA ratings. A lot of NBA games have not drawn the ratings that a lot of Caitlin Clark games have gotten. So think about that a minute. I mean, that's brutal. That's absolutely brutal. And that's on Cheryl Reeve. That's on Don Staley and the committee that picked uh, dis- picked this team, decided to skip over Caitlin Clark. And if I'm NBC, I'm furious. Because you know, you probably lost, what, at least 5 million viewers? My guess would be closer to 7 to 10 million viewers off that rating because they did not put her on the team. So, Caitlin Clark has made comments about her snub. And frankly... Maybe she's glad to not be playing for Cheryl Reeve. That's kind of the feeling I'm getting right now. Clark, the biggest star in women's basketball, was controversially left off Team USA roster for the games in France this summer. Number one draft pick has instead enjoyed a brief break during WNBA rookie season. Uh, The rookie season, which she has been reading, relaxing, and following the action from afar. Clark has previously said it would be a dream to compete in the Olympics, but she said the snub would be motivation ahead of the L.A. Games in 2028. Boy, that's going to be huge. That's going to be really big. Her in the United States, holy crap. 
When asked if she was bummed to not be in Paris, Clark said, No, I think the break was definitely been good. Think about that. Now, by the way, Christy Sides have the, has them practicing their asses off already. I got a video coming on that because uh, fans are not happy with, uh, with Christy Sides at all. Seriously. It's certainly cool, an opportunity you only get once every four years, so I wouldn't say I'm necessarily bummed. It just gives you something to work for, something to dream of. In four, four years, you can be there. Four years comes fast. That's your time in college. It shows that you have to start working now if you want to be, uh, what if if you want that to be your dream in four years. That's it for me. Work hard, and hopefully you can get there. I've watched a good amount of it. I watched the USA women yesterday. It was fun. I watched USA men. I tried to watch as much as I can. Maybe Coach Christie's side should cancel practice so I can watch more. And, guys, I'm, I'm shocked. By the way, that was a blowout win over Japan. We knew it would be. Uh, this isn't necessarily about was she the difference between them getting gold or not, or not. No. I mean, we knew they would get gold or likely would get gold. There's a long way to go. And there are WNBA players on some of them other teams. Now, on the men's side... There's NBA players on every roster and quite a few of them. But Team USA should still roll on both sides. That wasn't the point. Did you want the most popular player in the world to represent Team USA? Why wouldn't you? And again, statistical data comparing her to Diana Taurasi and frankly several others. And she statistically got them. And she had them at the time that she got picked. It's not that rampage she's been on since. She was already ahead of, uh, ahead of a lot of the players on this team when they passed her up, statistically. And so it wasn't an issue, was she good enough? Never mind the fact that she was the greatest college player ever. And they, it, it, Don Staley basically admitted they didn't even think about that. It's like, what? <laughs> I mean, you, are you, there's a reason why Leitner was once on the Dream Team, you know? It was him and Shaq as the two best college players that had come out in a couple of years. Now, Leitner didn't have the career Shaq did, but you get my point. At the time, yeah, I do think Shaq should have been on that team, by the way. Just pointing that out. Uh, anyway, tell me what you think. Caitlin Clark doesn't seem heartbroken. She doesn't. Now, Christy Sides got them practicing their asses off already. And I don't think a lot of people are thrilled with that. we got to remember she had a deep run in the NC2As. She could use rest. The team could use rest because of that, that murderous start that the WNBA schedule gave them. And they got them in there just practicing like dogs. Christy Sides, by the way, is getting destroyed, and i got a video coming on that. She's getting blasted right now. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.